Hello everybody, welcome back to Meta Mega Modded Minecraft, where today we're starting off in the dead of night. Go ahead and put on my torch to see if that helps me see better. Uh, one thing for sure, there's an Enderman somewhere around here, which is kind of spooky. What is oh, that's a cactus. Alright, probably should have a uh, good old torch out here. So... I am going to come over to here. That is a tar pit, which I'm not going to mess with. I'm going to come this way, and I'm going to put down a waypoint marker. So that we can come back here later. This will be the desert. Alright. Perfect coloring. So let's head back to ship shape and go down and sleep. Now, I'm going to say this while I'm sleeping here. I am really sorry for how yesterday's video turned out, and the day before that. I'm still getting settled into the new office, and looking back on those two videos, they were garbage. I mean, the aspect ratio of the Elden Ring one was garbage, because my new monitors had to get used to those. I fixed that for the next one, and the reason uh, yesterday's Minecraft one was so bad was because I was kind of in a rush. Because some unforeseen circumstances with the AC happened, and... All of that. I thought I'd go and say sorry for all that. But, getting on with today's video, I feel like we need to upgrade the blocks chest here. So let's make an upgrade. Small to medium, so we need a medium storage crate. It needs a bunch of void crystal blocks, which means we need coal. How much coal do we got? Almost none. Okay. So that's going to be another goal. Let's go and dump off a bunch of these. Gotta go ahead and clear the inventory. Alright. Oh, that's right. I need more food. Um, could make some more jerky. And some mutton jerky ought to work. First of all, we should probably go and harvest all of the wheat. Gonna grab out the Kama. This should be the tool for the job. Alright. Hmm, there's a crabby over there. Huh. Not nearly as good as I thought it would be. But this works at least. Alright. That should be enough to make at least a few more loafs, or not loafs, the baguettes. I gotta remember the recipe for the baguettes. It was this for dough. Yeah, and then I cooked the dough. So we're gonna be a little bit lower on coal there. That's right, this all goes in here. Alright. So once we get all that processed out, we should be able to I do want to make a base in the desert. And I'm debating whether or not that should be for today's video, or later. First of all, we should probably explore the rest of that desert and see what's around. So let's go to the desert. Now that we can actually see, because it's daytime. So we need to move this way. Let's see what is around here. Okay. Anything interesting here? No. Maybe I should try to put the waypoint higher up in the desert. That is a lot of oil. Oh, hi, Nimmo. Let's take you out. I probably should have caught that, actually, now that I'm thinking about that. I probably should have caught that. So there's a lot of sandstone around here. That's a magmar. Ow. Okay. Maybe I should make the base. Where should I make it, though? Hmm, maybe I should try to level out an area and then build there. Maybe I should go ahead and do a little bit of all of that. Ow. All the leveling and digging that has to happen. Alright, so let's check down here. I really should remember what I came here for. Probably was a desert temple of some sort. But, let's see what 
is around. Because if I can find any sort of structure, I'll be happy with moving the waypoint there. Because I just don't like to leave waypoints just out in the middle of nowhere. If there's some sort of landmark or structure, then I'll go ahead and call that a waypoint. Just leaving waypoints willy nilly is just not cool. And you get way too many. That's cool. No, there's a no more right here. I'm gonna try to catch it. Level 32. It's water pulse. Oh. That's right. It's quad super. Probably should have remembered that. Oh, wait, camera up. That's actually the thing that we needed. So we can get good old lava source like we did in the last season. Alright, camera up. Be my friend. Uh, razor shell? Nope, that killed it. As much as that is quad super, I thought that it at least would have lived one. Ooh, this is a cool cave. A really cool cave. It's actually a really good cave to make a base in. I can and then pick up this lava. Yeah, I think I'll go and make this the base. So, oh, that's a that's a lot of loose sand. I should probably uh, fix that up first. Uh, let's get a little bit of this so that we can fix up the entrance so it doesn't come falling down on our heads. Yep. Well, that's fine. Everyone's fine. Alright. So now to do a little bit of terraforming here. Make this look like a really cool door. Alright. So I do want to make the main little area here out of sandstone. So I'm probably going to need to go and collect some more. But I'm going to go ahead and mark this as the desert base. Desert base. Alright. I'll go ahead and remove the desert one later. But right now I do really want a camera up so I can get some more lava. So please don't die camera up. Okay. It didn't die, but it did kill me. Which does suck. So I'm gonna try... Okay. How about this one? Uh, heart swap. Rock slide, yep. Alright, drill. go. This thing is going to kill all of my mons, so let's go and throw a great ball. Quickly. What is that? Oh, that's a silicobra. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Uh, Magikarp, go. Magikarp, you can live this. You have the best stats. Not really. But you can... You can intimidate it. Woohoo. Alright. That gave me something? Ooh, for candy. Ooh, what's this? Lots of Clefairies around here. That is really weird. But, uh... Let's... Dig into this area a little bit. To get some of the sandstone that we need. Should be fine, right? It's not like this whole cave here is going to collapse. In on itself when I dig up all the... Wow, it's actually... We're standing surprisingly well. Okay. I should probably go ahead and make some more sandstone later with all the sand that we got. Oh, that is... That is a no good. Especially considering that Otter is just flat out dead. Alright. Nope, I need this, this, and this. And this. So I'm going to try to make this around this. I've never been good at making natural-looking houses. So I'm just going with how the terrain looks here. Uh, but looks good. And is functional. Alright. So now we remove a little bit from around here. Cut this down by a little. Make this look nice 
Maybe we should make the floors out of smooth sandstone instead of the normal sandstone. Hmm. You blocked this off. Maybe I should try to bury it with a little bit more sand. Make it look a little bit like a cave-in here. That is kind of what happened. Alright. So we still have this here. Let's add a little bit more sandstone there. Because I want this to be the doorway. And I could make that out of a different type of sandstone. What other sandstones are there? There's... Smooth one. The slab stairs. Is there chiseled? I'm trying to remember. I haven't used sandstone in just about any build ever. Hmm. Is it this? Yeah, chiseled is two of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of this and put smooth sandstone there around the door. Alright. So smooth, 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 and smooth. Nice. And I could probably replace some of the walls with smooth sandstone as well. But first, let's finish with the all natural look. So let's put down another piece of sandstone there to hold up the sand that's going to go here to make it look a little bit more natural. Right, I'm gonna cover up all this sandstone there. And there we go. Alright, so let's light up the place a little bit. Preferably not with sand. Alright. So. I'm probably gonna block off those little caveways there. And I'm probably gonna move slash get rid of the lava. But this is looking good. You can have a nice little spot to hang out here in the desert. Alrighty. Let's start on making the flooring look a little bit better here. Alright. That's a little bit of this. Redecorating here. Alright. That, that, that. That, that, that. In there. Alright. And then... Remove a little bit of that. Can I mine this ore is a big question here. Yes. All right. So, now that we've got desert base here, I'm going to fill in this. Is this coal? Yes, this is coal. All right, good. Let's go ahead and exchange some of these blocks here. And I'm going to go on ahead and make a little pond here, just because. Alright, so let's build up around here. And then right here will be where I put the water. Alright, and that means that I can pick this up and bring that back home. I'll probably fill this in a little bit more later in a future video slash stream. Alright, so let's get rid of this gravel. Because truthfully I don't like a lot of gravel in underground areas. It just makes it so annoying to get around. Ooh there's a lot of back space here. Whoop, oh, hi there Woobat. You're going to kill me. There you go. This could be good for like a storage zone as well. I heard a skeleton does make me a little bit scared. But, ow, yep, no, Cubone, why? Ow, okay, I see it. No, sprint, I can't sprint, alright. I really should eat some of this mutton. Alright. And consumed, alright. So now I'm good. Let's get some of this coal and bring it back. My otter was revived, so that is nice. Alright, so I'm probably going to make like a staircase into these zones here. 
let's go ahead and fill in over the top here. I do need to make a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A door. Desperately. Alright. This is looking pretty good. I need to remove this big dip in the middle here. Just to make it look a little bit better. I really hope there's no just sand above here. That would suck royally. Alright. Making some swift progress. Alright. Place is looking better and better. This is not good though. Uh, probably should have kept that there. I'll go in and replace this a little bit later. By that I mean I'll go in and replace that now. Alright. So let's head back out here. Where was it? It was... Here. Alright. No, I'll go in and fill it in up to here with sandstone. And then patch that up. Why did I just use a pickaxe on sand? Alright. That looks good. Alright. Should mean that I should be able to dig out? No. Okay. So, Whalmer was revived, which is good. I don't know why I tried to axe that. It's definitely going to need to be... A little bit of sand work here done. But, actually, that probably should be a little bit lower since it's so close to the entrance. Right, that looks better. Let's go ahead and dig all this up. And go over here and continue on the middle bit. Since there's stone here, there shouldn't be anything really on top of it. The sandstone is where you gotta get worried. Alright, so that into a pretty nice open room here. It's gonna pop out some of these. I'm definitely gonna need to repair my hammer here. Hmm. There's a witch somewhere. Maybe I should go in and fill in this little section here. And then, of course, I'm going to right-click down a torch there. This place is coming together. Alright. We're definitely going to have to go and get some repairs done before we can actually make this thing like, fully come together. But it is definitely a good start to a base. Gonna get some of these popped out. I'm just gonna fill in these bits with sand. So I do have a base to build off of here. Alright, so let's get in here. And surprisingly, out of sand. Hmm. Alright, well, maybe I should go and get the excavator as well. That would at least speed things up sand-wise. It's gonna chisel some fine detail into here. Alright. So, here we go on that. Oh, that's more sand. Yep. The sand's done here actually looks kind of nice. But this... Needs to get swapped. I'll put that there too. Alright. So, with the sand base coming along nicely, we're going to have a pool here. We're going to fill this and this and this in quickly. And you get one more bucket of water. But first, you need to get back to base. Because uh, there is a few things out here that I'm fairly sure want to kill me. Those are just cacti though. 
So I do actually have a little bit more time to go in and try to beef out this area. So let's go ahead and fine chisel some of this. And boom. Mine out whatever that is. Alrighty. Looking like a nice little encampment here. Ooh. And here it's actually really bright because it is straight to the outside world. Okay. Probably should have thought about that. The outside world passages. What's this? Oh, it's a hound door. Cool. And a cubone that wants to take my life. Alright. Let's... That camera up is still there. Hmm. Hi there, buddy. I to scooch past ya. For a second, I thought that sand owl was the special QB texture. But... Hmm. I feel like I should go home and repair things before we start working more on this. So it's going to remove that one and teleport over to ship shape. And start getting some materials. Because with that base the way that it's going now, it'll turn out pretty well, I think. Gravel, cobble, manganese. Can we toss them here? Coal, we still need way more of it if we want to make that upgrade. Rick candy. Let's go ahead and toss it in there with the bones. And flint. Hmm. Where was the excavator? Did I toss it in here? Oh, no, there it is. I was just being dumb. Alright. So, we need a little bit of cobalt, right? Yeah, so we need a little bit of cobalt to repair that. And then grab out a nice block of cobalt there. Not block, but nice ingot of cobalt. Let's go and repair this sucker. And we should probably keep the sand and sandstone on us since we're building with it. But I do want a door. Alright, four doors should probably work. Let's head back to Desert Base and see what we can make out of it. So here we've got this doorway. Which, yeah, looks pretty nice. You can walk out here and see all the dead bushes and the Dynamax den that's over there. But let's get in here. And I forgot to drop off that. Hi there. What are you doing here? Thank you. Uh, what else? We should probably light up the area that's around here as well. So let's build a cross to flatten out the rest of this area. So we've got a nice floor to build off of. Should be looking pretty good from here on out. And then I'll make little staircases into the little outer areas. Alrighty. So let's finish this off. Alright. Little bit of annoyance here. Let's scoop all that up. I do love the excavator for the fact that it's just able to take a 3x3 slot of gravel and it's just gone. Just boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is another little passageway. That's pretty cool. Lots of interconnecting areas. I kind of want to make this the exit instead of over here. So let's pop down some sandstone. Alright. So let's pop down a little bit more sandstone there. With that. I'm going to chip away at the rest of this. But I want this to be like a doorway here. And there. So here's going to be the door out to here. Looking pretty good. I'm going to let me know what you guys think about this little base here in the comments. Because I am pre-recording this for the fact that the AZ company is going to need to come back again 
tomorrow from when I'm recording this today when this video comes up. That's why I'm apologizing for yesterday's video uh, earlier, but uh, I'm pre-recording this because there was a little bit of issues with that, so I probably won't be streaming again tomorrow, which will suck, but I'll make sure to stream... Huh, I say tomorrow. That would be today for when this goes up, so I need to keep that straight. But... So there's not going to be a stream today, but I'll make sure to stream tomorrow. I'll try my best, and if the people actually do what they're supposed to, I should be able to make that happen. So let's go ahead and chisel out this. I didn't fill in this wall. Get that torch back, thank you. Alright. It's like a very nice little sand cave here. This is kind of jutting out, so let's fix that. Break a little bit more of the ceiling. Give us a nice headroom. Make a nice open concept here. <laughs> Alright. So let's wall this up. Make sure that it's all uniform here. Alright. We're gonna move in the torches by a little bit. Huh. I am out of sandstone. That should be an easy fix, though. Let's come out here. Oh, hi there. An even bigger boss. Alright. So let's come down here past the Clefairy. I don't feel like dealing with the Clefairy right now. And go on and chop down this a little bit. Ooh. Orichalcum, correct? Yeah, Orichalcum. That's, I'd never pass up some good old Orichalcum. Well, that's gonna dig a little bit through here. Get some well-needed sandstone. I don't know why I keep dipping down. But, I should be able to make just a drill through the, like, through the mountain area here. probably continue this late, like, at a later date, but I think I've got enough sandstone now. So let's head back. I should probably get out the backpack here. Gonna toss the lava, the mutton jerky, or calcum and rotten flesh in there. Did I put my snacks in the backpack? Is another question that I'm starting to think may have happened. It is quite possible. Alright. Well, either way. Let's get in here and start redecorating some more. So we need to break down a little bit of this. This is going to need some fine-tuning with this. Then we're going to break out all the stone bits later and turn them into some more sandstone. Truthfully, I'm starting to like the texture of sandstone. Alright, so let's get all this done. Alright. And then replace some of this. We'll do the fine trim around the edges later. Now this is back to being a nice, safe base. I say that with a gaping cave on the side. But hey! Alright. Oh wait, this still needs to be a block up. Alright, there is some sand there, which is gonna make for some minor annoyance. But, excavator. Haha. Alright, so that, no. Want to place it here. Thank you. I'm going to place it across that hole. And we're looking pretty good as far as everything goes here. Lots more sand, though. I do always find it funny when items just decide to wig out. 
Like that cobblestone that was just there dancing. All right. Let's pop open a little bit more of this. Whoopsie. More sand. This should be fine. All we got to do is do a little bit of this. All right. And might as well put in deal with that. Since we have another access to the cave from the other side, might as well go ahead and block off this entrance. Make this a true like base here. I'm not saying the bases with caves in them are not bases. They very much so are. I know a lot of people that make well, just cave bases like this one, just without decorating the interior. Alright. So let's and pick up all this and extend out the wall here so this one is a little bit longer of a video because I'm trying to make up for all the screw ups on previous videos for this week give you all a little bit something more to watch alright so let's then cut that out there boom boom alright how much more? We got tons of sandstone left. I'll probably work on the ceilings off camera. Whoopsie. Break that, pick that up. And build across some more. This is ceiling height, right? Well, it's close enough. And then deal with this. And don't want to leave out. Let's say don't want to leave ore left behind, but apparently the ore wants to be left behind. Alright. Deal with that. Drop all this down here. Then all I gotta do is add in a little roofing bit here. Alrighty. Looks like this base is coming along nicely. this here. Alright. So now that this base is looking so nice, I am going to end it off here for right now. And then I'm probably going to do the ceiling in next episode or off screen. Because I'm going to have to deal with the AC people tomorrow. Well, today. When the video goes up. So let's go ahead and toss some of this cobble and ore away into the sorting storage system but I'd like to thank you all so much for watching and again sorry for the bad uploads recently I'm getting things back together now so hope you all stay tuned in and I hope you all stay tuned in for the entirety of this next year that well, I say next year this year and I'd like to thank you all again for the support through 2020 not 2022, through 2022. So, thank you all so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.